family it's the mobile home diva coming back to you with another video so in today's video i'm just going to be talking a little bit while i um clean i guess it's not going to be a full on clean with me because i'm just going to talk to you while i clean so just bear with me on that um i started the video out with no lighting to kind of show you what i'm going through when i go out to the manufacturer homes so that's why it's really dark um but let's talk about it let's talk about it so before we get started if you're new to the channel make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time i upload a new video thanks so much for watching so now i just recently went back to rain wayne fire homes to record some more i done half um, of the homes that they had so and which I still haven't posted them all so I went back to post to record some more and I took the new camera and what I noticed is how dark it is and I, I don't know anything about this camera yet if I can change the exposure um, or anything like that I'm gonna have to YouTube and read the manual and all of that but I really like the quality of the video one thing that I didn't care for there was a wide angle lens. It's like an attachment that goes to the, the actual lens and it, it opens up the room, but it, it's a fish eye and I don't really care for the fish eye. So I did order a official Canon wide angle lens, not a fish eye, just a wide angle lens. I'll be able to take the lens off that's on the camera and put that one on and it should be better if it doesn't work any better. I will send it back. <clears throat> I only paid $125. There was another YouTuber who talked about a wide angle lens that they got from Best Buy. It was a Canon. It was three something and I may invest in that one. We'll see how it goes. But for now, I didn't care for that. So I don't really care for the fish eye. It makes, it looks like you're looking in the circle and I don't think it would be so bad. It's just that the it was so dark and that has to do with lighting right so i already know that i need to get um a light one that i can carry with me and so my camera equipment is probably going to be huge but i can actually at attach lighting to it and then attach the microphone to the top so we'll see about that but anyway i'm going to turn the light on so we can have some better light and yeah and we'll keep talking so hold on for a second have one question from one of our subscribers he says hi I was wondering if with this kind of foundation is there a problem with animals under the house and chewing on your wires or anything else under the house so I wanted to answer that because that may be something that other people have asked I know a lot of people comment about the way the house is sitting and being concerned about water running down and settling um and it you know so i wanted to kind of give you some advice sorry about that kind of give you some advice that can help um stuff to think about as you prepare to to go into your own home they had to take a section of our yard and level it and what it did was it caused and I know I'm, I'm going to talk about this first and then answer your question, but I'll get there. I promise. The way they had to push the excess dirt out of the way, it created a hill or a slope because we live on an incline. incline. Um, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm just looking out of the door. But as you can see, there is a slope here. My husband's working but there's an incline out here where they had to push the excess dirt and it created a hill so i knew you couldn't hear me because of the um saw that was going but i wanted you to see how there's like a slope or an incline so we have a drainage system in the back of our house that take put takes the water toward the road we live on an incline so even though the water is coming down that hill it's not settling 
there's a pipe that runs around the perimeter of the house that runs down and around and the water is running downhill toward the street out in the front. I hope I explained that right. I'm not technical when it comes to all of that. I don't know terms or exactly what you call certain things, but basically we have a drainage system in place that keeps the water flowing. Okay, now we also have a, a this is how we don't, why we don't have to worry about animals. Now, anything can happen. Animals are, are clever. If they want to get somewhere, they will. Uh, my husband's really good about paying attention to what's going on outside. But we did get um, block underpinning. Pinning. That's where they use the concrete blocks to create the underpinning for your home. There are several options out there. You could get vinyl. Um, you can get concrete blocks or you can get bricks. We didn't have the money for bricks, which is the most expensive option. We definitely weren't, actually in this subdivision, you have to get block underpinning. It, that wasn't the case at one time. We do see some houses that have vinyl, but um, the city of Locust Grove requires it now for manufactured homes. So we had, we could have gotten bricks if we wanted to upgrade, but we didn't have a choice. We had to get um, blocks. So it's pretty tough for animals to get to dig under the blocks. Um, it's sit, sitting on um, a concrete pad and then the house is underpinned by um, the concrete blocks. I'll, I'll try to find and insert a picture of what it, it looked like when they got through. Now we do have the, the vents in certain areas around the house as required so that it can breathe. But there is a black uh, like screen that is in that hole um, and it was put in as they were doing the concrete block so it's in there securely. I, I don't know if it's held in with the concrete or what but it's, it's pretty secure. So only air can get through those holes. And then we have two access doors. Because of the size of our house, we have two access doors to get under the house. And those, uh, my husband put them in and they have locks on them. Um, so there's really not a way unless it's torn down um, or, or to torn off for them to get in under. Um, and if something has happened where an animal or even a person has attempted to get in, it's pretty easy to see. So we haven't been concerned about animals getting under the house. If we had the vinyl, we probably would be. Or if it wasn't as secure as it is, we would be. That hasn't been an issue. When you're living in the country and you're living around woods, there, there are houses behind us, but across the street there are woods. And right on the corner, two houses from us, is um, is a lake. So you have animals everywhere, right? But we haven't had a concern with um, any of them yet. And it's all about the upkeep of your home. Sorry about that, I got a ping even though I'm at lunch. Um, <laughs> I like to keep a watch on my computer. Anyway, we haven't had a concern, even though we live around a, a lot of, uh, you know, you subject to see animals. And I've seen some creepy crawly things that I've never seen before, before I moved to the country. But I haven't had a concern with them coming into the house or, or disturbing the exterior. And I said all that to say um, the drainage stuff. I talked about the drainage stuff and I talked about that to say as you're preparing to, to move into your house and you're doing little things to make sure that you'll be happy and be safe there, just think about those types of things, right? Sometimes we're so excited that, oh, I got approved for a house, I'm getting ready to move in the house, this is the house, I love this house, I can't wait to move in. But don't forget about the things that are gonna make you feel safe after you move in, like, um, like, how to prevent um, water settling in your yard. How to prevent people breaking into your house. Like what alarm system are, are you gonna use? Are you looking at camera equipment? What about drainage for the yard? 
like this um driveway is inexpensive but is it going to fit my needs like should i bring it all the way up and create a sidewalk or should i do a circular driveway like think out what's going to be beneficial in the long run because a lot of the stuff that you're going to be adding to your home can be added into the cost and you don't have to worry about paying out of pocket at that time so make sure you get everything that you need and make sure that you think it through as best as you can even including home improvements like we we can be so critical of what a house looks like but it's the bones of the house you can change the carpet later you can add hardwoods like my living room has carpet but then the, the dining room kitchen and laundry room have the hardwood right but eventually that's going to have hardwood too i wasn't as concerned about that in the beginning or maybe i don't like the wall color but i love the house but i need to get the model get the house you can change the wall color and it, it for me anyway it's so much better i when i get something that i can add improvements to and make it my own i appreciate it more eventually i want to put wallpaper and make a feature wall in the dining room and in my bedroom eventually i want to get um i have a top um what do you call it the washer and dryer that's on the the washer that's on the top but eventually i want the the one that's on the i can't think of the name y'all i'm bad with names y'all know i messed stuff up but eventually i want the washer and dryer where everything's on the front and then i want to put a um what do you call the wood block counter on top of the uh butcher block eventually i want butcher block as a counter oh across the top of my washer and dryer and i want to put um shelving wooden shelving or butcher block shelving maybe two rows above that and just make it the laundry room that i want that's eventually now i can live with it i have a laundry room i have space to put my stuff it doesn't have to be perfect but eventually that's where i want it to be so if you can see yourself making improvements over the years um then then absolutely go for it, it doesn't have to be perfect every house that you look at isn't going to be perfect but if it has the potential to be what you need it to be if it has the right floor pan if the space is open if you can if if it speaks to you if you know in your heart that this is a home for you then of course every house isn't going to be perfect there's changes that you can make right away or down the line i hope that advice helps somebody um i have four minutes to clock back in from lunch I got my kitchen area done. I can do the bathroom and the bedroom um, on my 15 minute break or when I get off from work. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys for being a part of the Mobile Home Diva channel, for listening to me ramble on for however many minutes this was. Thank you so much for your support, for always being a part of the team. I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.